Hey guys, the objectives of today's video is to go through a slightly harder example of Mohr circle. So here we have a soul element lying on a plane inclined at 20 degrees above the horizontal. And there are shear stresses and normal stresses acting on the soul element. But one of the normal stresses is unknown, which is what we're trying to find. We're also given that the major principal stress is 100 kilopascals. And the second part of the question is interested in finding what angle does the plane of major principal stress make with the horizontal? So I'll go ahead and define two points. So let's say we have point A, its coordinates of sigma and negative 20. This is negative 20 because the shear stress causes the soul element to want to turn clockwise. And we also have point B, which is 30 and positive 20. Now I've gone ahead and plotted these points already on this Mohr circle. Don't worry about trying to do this to scale because we don't know what this normal stress is. So we're going to have to solve this Mohr circle analytically so we can't rely on the graphical procedure in this, in this instance. So because these stresses are acting perpendicularly to each other, we know that on the Mohr circle we can connect these two points with a straight line. Like so. So we also know this point here is the major principal stress. And we know that this distance here 